But today we are looking at uh, the uh, the decision by the Cameroon government to identify fictitious workers within the public service. That brings me now to get from you, Mr. Siaka. Could you first of all tell us what is it that what actually is uh, a ghost or a fictitious worker? Uh, a ghost or a fictitious worker in simple terms is somebody who has accepted to render service mm -hmm. against a salary or against a compensation mm -hmm. and doesn't do so but at the same time is receiving compensation for work not being done. Okay. That is a simple uh, definition for the understanding of everybody. Of everybody, of course. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, uh, at, at looking now at this uh, topic of discussion, we have the government has identified <laughs> close to 10,000, but particularly 8,766 fictitious workers within the public service. Why just now? Because we know very well this uh, has been occurring for many years. And is this number probably? Is it the right number? Is it small? Is it much? Or is it just? Okay, uh, before I dive into your question, I want to make this clarification. Mm -hmm. You said that it has been happening for some time. Mm -hmm. And why only now? Mm -hmm. Administrative tolerance is not a rule of law. And uh, a response to this is uh, the COP is a response to the call of the people of Cameroon for the government of this country to be accountable to the people. Mm -hmm. And in course of the government being accountable to the people, they have to carry actions that will bring clarity, equality, equity, and uh, justice for all Cameroonians. Yeah. It is unacceptable that you are a civil servant. You have already taken a capital flight to Europe or the United States of America and you are still receiving your salary your back salary. in Cameroon. Mm -hmm. And we are the same people who turn around and say the government is not providing us social amenities. Mm -hmm. This is, as a matter of fact, in 2020, the government was able to recover 20 billion, 20 billion from fictitious salaries that were paid to ghost workers. Mm -hmm. That is enormous that can provi provide social amenities to the people. We lack portable water, we lack access to health care. We lack farm to market roads. At the same time, we have civil servants who have abandoned their positions of work. They are in a comfort zone out of the country and they are still having access to their salaries. This is mm -hmm. something that must be condemned and discouraged. Okay. Because you are killing the nation. You are killing the progress of this country. You are killing the young ones, and they are killing Cameroonians who are still to be born, because it is not helping in the progress of infrastructural development. It is not helping the government in providing health care. It is not helping the government in providing social amenities. And we know that our budget is streamlined, and the government is doing, putting all its efforts to be able to meet the aspirations of the people. And they will have very dishonest. Cameroonians who are able to do that, I think this is a clarion call for a return to sanity. Mm -hmm. It okay. should be discouraged and it should not happen again. About some of these ghost workers possibly being 100% innocent and uh, enriching another person and not themselves. Do you agree? I would uh, beg to differ. I would beg to differ in the sense that there is no excuse for ignorance of the law. Mm -hmm. That said, uh, most of these ghost workers, as he has exonerated, he has classified the different levels of ghost workers. Mm -hmm. We have ghost workers who have been duly employed by the civil service. They mm -hmm. are on a due salary. Mm -hmm. Then they have moved abroad, but without their salaries notifying. without notifying, and their salaries is still going on. Secondly, we have unscrupulous civil servants who have been given confidence by the government to handle trivial matters like managing the salaries of civil servants. But they, they abuse the confidence of the state that has been given to them. Instead of managing it, 
they create ghost accounts of civil servants and send money into those accounts and with the complicity of banks we must notify this with mm. the complicity of banks they are able to get this money and share the booty then we have ghost workers like uh, civil servants who have gone mm. on retirement they have died they they have to go back they have to <coughs> take the process of a provision social that's getting their retirement benefits mm -hmm. but that wasn't done and then their salaries are still going on as people who are still actively in service mm -hmm. so i love the fact that he, he enumerated and exonerated on all these different aspects of ghost workers but i want to say that there is no excuse for ignorance of the law because once you are into a tricky game like this you are part of the conspiracy and you must go down for i want to draw your attention to the fact that this operation corp is a response to the call for accountability by the people to the government mm -hmm. and this is a process that is slow but steady and we are surely going to get to it we are just less than 60 or 70 years of independence mm -hmm. we cannot think that we can achieve accuracy like a nation like the united states of america that has been independent for over 600 years we try to compare ourselves with nations that have gone through independence to near to nearly a century it is a slow and steady process and i want to say that with what we have achieved as of now for just 60 years or so is enormous but it doesn't mean that we should fold our arms and then we should always understand that this kind of conspiracy is two-way because if there, there is a thief there is a reseller mm -hmm. and if the reseller is not active the thief will steal because he's not going some get good to get somebody who is to get his products mm -hmm. so as a matter of fact it's two-way the state agents who abuse government authority and powerful positions given to them are guilty just as the citizens who join them to accompany them in this malicious act of swindling money from government coffers so it's a clarion call for resilience from Cameroonians that if we want to support nation building we have to put square pegs in square holes if we have to support nation building we have to support the government in fighting in fighting corruption we have to support the government in fighting inequality because this is a fervent act of inequality you don't have you have civil people who are well qualified but because of the fact that employment in the civil service is streamlined we don't have up to 500,000 of them in a country of over 25 million and then those who are chosen to do so you go and you're getting the money and you're not running services to the government it is treasonable so I think we should be able to join hands with the government to clean Cameroon of this mess. Okay, thank you. Afrique Media. Le monde, c'est nous.